What's up and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Crossbow Blood Knight, a first impression. Uh, we'll, we'll, see what, we'll see what this game's all about in a second, but before we get into that, our sponsor, as always, H2O, baby. Drink it up or die. Mm. Uh, Crossbow Blood Knight, what is it? Well, it's on Steam for, I believe, uh, $2. <laughs> Um, at the time of recording this, uh, this was released back in September of 2020. Um, it developed and produced by Hyper Strange. Uh, I have not, you know, seen or heard any of their other stuff. I just, you know, this is in my backlog of stuff to pl uh, go through, so we're going through it. Um, and they describe the game as a frantic score attack arena shooter set in a world of camp horror and gore. Master the occult powers of your automatic crossbow and fight for every second of survival against relentless demonic horde. Hordes, I assume. Um, so yeah, uh, it sounds pretty simple. It is a score attack arena shooter, so I assume we'll be in an arena and we'll be shooting a crossbow that is apparently an automatic crossbow. Um, before we get into all that, there's leaderboards, but I'm not in online mode right now, so I cannot see what, you know, who all's on the leaderboards. Settings, what do we got? Okay, we got resolutions, brightness, uh, V-Sync, field of view, mm, that seems okay. 150 to 120, pretty pretty good difference. We'll keep it at 120 just because. Although, nah, I'm usually a 110 guy myself. Let me just, let me just, oh, nope, 111. I'm fine with that. Look sensitivity, it's fine. Invert look, I will not do that. And for audio, you just have music and sound effects. Let's bump up uh, music just a little bit and sound effects a little bit well. Halloween mode. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm going to play the standard game, and if we have time, we'll come back and check out what Halloween mode is. Okay, controls. Oh, this is it. This is it. So, standard move. Okay, we have a jump. Left mouse is fire. I can tap or hold. I'll see what that does. Uh, heavy mode. Okay. I just hold right mouse. All right. So, there's a dash, um, rate of cleansing, Q, whatever that does. Oh, reset arena. That That's nice. Um, usually, if you know you're going to die and you don't want to go through the whole trouble in a you know arena shooter game where it's a score game, it's nice to have a quick way to just reset and toggle timer. Okay. Back, and I guess we'll just uh, start the game. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that is a very automatic crossbow. Uh, I guess I have unlimited ammo. Oh, man. Okay. Like many arena games, arena shooters, this is a game where you do not want to stand still. Oh, boy. What's heavy attack? Oh, well, I died. So looks like on your desk screen, uh, this is probably leaderboards. Slain by the hungry one, and I have a survival time of 3.27. That's that's pretty good. I think you know half a minute. Crossbow accuracy, number of creatures slain, and number of I don't know what this whole siphon souls is. I can't check. Okay, retry then. Okay. I'm just gonna lay on the trigger this time. I there's no reticule, which frustrates me. Are you gonna die? Okay, I guess he's got a weak point there. Oh no, get uh, get out of here. This the no reticule is really annoying me. I do not like it. I mean, it's not super bad since you can just lay on the trigger and, you know, eh, you can fire by, you know, just where your bullets land. It's a little bit harder than I thought without the reticule. To me, if I, I were to suggest any improvements, it would be having a reticule so you can actually see where you're shooting. And a health bar system. This, this it seems, goes to a... Uh, you know, your screen gets bloody when you're low on health, which I do not like.
I'm not sure on the range on this either. Okay. Alright. Oh no. Yeah. Just like most shooters, or, you know, arena shooters, do not stop moving. Especially when there's... Oh, man! What was that? The feral one killed me. Okay. I do like the spawning enemies. It's not just... They're not just spawning enemies at you. There are also, you know... Targets that you have to kill, otherwise they spawn more enemies. I don't know what this... Okay. Oh! Okay. Sometimes, it really seems like a one-hit kill with a lot of enemies. Seems like I don't want to even get close to enemies at all. Although, you can kind of, yeah. It's not, it doesn't seem so far that anything is randomly generated in how the enemy spawns. So you can kind of plan out how, how you want to deal with an arena. What's Q do? Well, I can't use Q yet, so... But yeah, just keep moving, as in most shooter arenas, and try not to run into any enemies. Oh! Okay. Huh. With how quickly I'm dying, I'm wondering... Okay, what's heavy attack? So I hold it... Oh! So heavy attack gives me a reticule. Oh, well, heavy attack, I just, you queue it up, you hold down your button, and you fire a explosive bolt. I actually might prefer this way of playing, because, you know, you get a reticule. I don't know, I mean, like I said, I can understand why there's no reticule. I can't understand it, you know, it's kind of annoying, but I can... Golly, you have... No health in this game. This is very much... You get hit, you die, almost. I can understand why they maybe wouldn't have reticule. But really, this... This is how I want to play the game, then. With a reticule. I think this game would be much better served by having a reticule. For both shooting modes, that is. And I don't know what this yellow stuff I'm picking up is. Nine? Seven? I guess the timer is... I don't know what the timer is. Okay. Oh! So that's what Q does. That is a very effective move. I guess I have to save up for it. Oh. Oh, don't get stuck. Ah! Okay, you can't exactly jump enemies, it seems. I'm almost to a minute. This is a very fast-paced uh, fast arena shooter. Very good. But like I said, could really use a reticule when you're not in this 1A mode only. Really makes me wonder why they didn't add it in. Because, I mean, you don't need it to tell the difference, you know. I, I know when I switch to this aim mode because the crossbow changes uh, perspectives. It switches to right in front of me, instead of, you know, kind of off to the side. Okay, and I don't see why you wouldn't want to sprint. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a... Okay, so your sprint can be used as a dodge, but it seems to take a while to recharge. And it just gives you a short burst of movement in one direction. Okay, let's use this, and bada bing bada boom. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I guess he didn't die from it. Okay, interesting. Here we go again. Sigil of Light. I don't know what that achievement means exactly. We'll read it after the game. I'm liking it so far. It's a little bit, I would say, fast-paced for me.
Okay, I guess the feral is dodging my attack then. Interesting to see that you have that, I think they called it Rite of Cleansing. Very powerful attack that you can save up for. I don't know if it's kills or just on a timer. That Rite of Cleansing, because I both have a timer down there. I get, Yeah, it's counting down. And I also have a yellow bar that's just counting up, too. Might be one and the same, the bar and the... Okay. It, it really does seem like one-hit kills. <laughs> nice to see that this... Uh... I'm not sure what the yellow pickups are. Not sure if they're restoring health, or if they're just uh, decreasing my cooldown time for that Rite of Cleansing. Ah, oh, yes, just one hit kills. <laughs> it really does seem that way. Yeah, this is very much a score... You know, you're just looking... You're not looking to have fun in this game. Well, you know, you might be. If it's your thing. But you're really looking to get the high score. Which means you're really trying to... Memorize where enemies are coming from. Okay? And so, really, the competition in this game is from other players. Yeah, these bats are horrible. Oh. Yep. Seems like I just need to run as much as possible. Okay, feral guy. Focus all my fire on him. Oh, there's... Okay. Man. Yeah. I don't think I'll stick with playing this game. I mean, it seems right fun, but... The lack of a reticule... When you're firing normally is really frustrating. Especially because the... F I mean... It's an automatic crossbow. I'll give it that. It is a very quick-firing crossbow, but... The fact that you don't have a reticule means... In the half second where you are able to fire a bolt... And see where it actually lands, you, can't, you gotta really, you know... Be quick with your shooting and movement. Yeah, I'm just going to give up killing those enemies, really. Ugh. Man, it's a difficult game, I'll give it that. Okay, so number of Siphon Souls. I still don't know what the Siphon Souls are. <laughs> no description, okay. Yeah, my crossbow accuracy. <sighs> It, it frustrates me that they have a crossbow accuracy thing when you don't have a reticule whatsoever. Uh. Alright. Oh, no, we wanted to try, sorry. And after this time. It's an addictive, I, I will say, it's, it's, it's very, very much like you wanna, you, you feel like you just, you know, you could, you could get a little further if just, if just, you know. Okay, over here. Yeah, these guys are the real issue, because if you don't kill them in time, they're just going to continue spawning enemies. Oh! Alright, we're going to go to the main menu and see what, what was it called? Halloween mode? Halloween mode. Let's see what that does. If it makes the game any harder, I don't... Don't foresee me getting very far in it. Okay, so the start seems normal. 
Okay. I don't think it's changed anything so far. Can you... No, you can't. Oh. They've added pumpkins. So Halloween mode seems to be just cosmetic in how the arena looks. There's some jack-o'-lanterns here and there. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is all Halloween mode does. It does nothing but add jack-o'-lanterns. So I guess if you're, you know, if it's Halloween, you'll want some, you know, Halloween-themed set dressing, I guess, is all it is. Okay, nope, die. Well, it seems an okay game. We're, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that much in the game for me. It seems to be very much a leader, you know, fight for the high score, um, which is exactly what they said it was. It was a score attack arena shooter. Um, yeah, I really wish they would have had some uh, reticule. I think that would have been much better. Um yeah, otherwise, yeah. They, they could have used some more explaining. I don't know anything about what this soul siphoning is, unless it's the pickups I'm getting. But yes, alright. I'm going to leave it right here, gamers. Uh, if you're interested in... If, you know, score attack arena shooters are your thing, and you wish one had a crossbow, I think crossbow blood knight is for you. Um, if it's not, well, it's not for you. You know, you don't have to get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it right here. Thank you very much for watching. If you, you know, made it you know to the end of this episode gamers uh be sure to take care of yourselves do stuff to support the channel if you want to but if not at least drink some h2o and stay hydrated take care gamers